and we are back. Episode 48, part two, bath and shower tile ideas. We have started the shower. The back wall is almost complete. Floor is in monolith, will be used today. 12 by 24, rectified. We will be wrapping these tiles with the same pattern. We have them labeled over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. Trimming this out with Schluter Jolly, we will finalize the back wall, finalize the niche, the two side walls, clear out this bathroom, prep the floor for grout, and just make our way to completion, probably in two more days to complete the shower, install the vanity, the deco lights, the towel bars, everything else. It is time to get to work. <laughs> We are now finalizing the shower tile. We have the DeWalt D36000 to help us with this. The sill left right top of the window as well as the sill left right top of the niche. So tile is finalized today. We're going to prep the shower. Floor is grouted, polish that up and install our vanity top, undermount sink faucet, you name it. So here we go.
we are almost completed with this full bathroom remodel. We have the vanity in, top is in. We need to cut this side splash. It is a little too long. Backsplash, faucets, everything is plumbed. Now this is a custom cabinet. Our client built this themselves. So they will be taking care of the doors and drawers, but floor is in, all sealed up, shower is complete. We need to run our silicone, color match silicone at the top, as well as the perimeter of this fiberglass tray. Trim kit needs to be installed as well. And of course, we need to run our silicone along where the tub meets the tile. Toilet needs to go in, baseboard has been cut and painted. We need to nail that in, caulk the baseboard. Other than that, shower door is tomorrow. We collect a payment and then move on to the hall. Full bathroom remodel as well. We need to get back to work, clear off the punch list for this bathroom remodel. Completed, finalized. Let's quickly show you the final product. We will start with the floor. We installed a three foot porcelain plank. joints are at 1 16th of an inch and we laid this out at a 33% offset. One of our favorite layouts to do when installing in a small area like this. Floor turned out great, wood look, porcelain plank, easy to clean, maintain, very durable. We installed this custom cabinet. This was built by the client. Carrera quartz top. Two under mount sinks, and we also installed these brush nickel faucets. Backsplash, side splash, installed was a decorative light up here. Spray texture and painted the walls. We installed new square baseboard. We have a fiberglass shower tray. We rarely install these trays but this was the client's request as usual clients get what clients want we just finalized this shower door on rollers semi-frameless barn style we have schluter jolly here trimmed out for the sides of the shower as well as the niche miters at all four corners and lastly trimming out the window. Satin nickel for the Schluter Jolly. Here is the niche, turned out absolutely beautiful. Custom niche, we did fabricate this to increase the height so it can house Costco style size bottles. This is a Schluter niche. We have Curdy behind this tile. The niche is very clean, no buildup in the corners. We have a decorative glass behind it. Abalone style glass. We have browns to complement the floor, greens to complement the wall paint, and some grays to complement the wall tile. Field wall tiles are 12 by 24, rectified. Grout joints are at 1 16th of an inch 50% offset is our layout of choice. Let's show you these corners here. Clean wraps. This is the cutoff of this tile so that this pattern and print flows and wraps around to the adjacent wall. We did the same thing on this side. We have silicone color matched grout at the bottom and perimeter of this fiberglass tray. 
silicone at the top and where the two planes meet here. This wall as well as that wall, we installed a new valve, trim kit, and handheld diverter here, and a new shower head. Well, that's it guys for bath and shower. Episode 48, part two, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see future bath and shower tile idea videos, if you like the video. Best way to help my channel is to tap the like button down there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.